So if I update here on the 6th, unfortunately not a good update. Um, we got a impulsive move from the very top to the very from the very top to where we're at now, 848 all the way down to 737. Is that right? 739 right now? 740. Yeah, I mean, we it, the stock just gets disrespected over and over. They kill earnings, sells off. IWM is barely even down. It's only down 2% since the same time frame. We're down over, like, was it 15% maybe? Yeah, around 15%, maybe 13 14%. So just kind of a joke of a move, as the stock always makes joke of moves. Um, to the downside, there's no reason for this. I don't think there's any downgrades, anything like that. Um, so, yeah, you just got to roll with the price action. That's what happens, I guess. Um, but this is a five-wave move down. Best case scenario, this is an ABC move. But worst case scenario, we're going down here to six bucks, unfortunately. Um, this right here that I talked about being potentially an impulse move can also be seen as an ABC move. You can see here we hit the 1.61 Fib exactly. So this would be ABC. And I talked about in the video yesterday, it all depends on this move down. And what do we get? We were like right here, the start of the day, we just get a huge drop for no reason. Just drops off the map. And that's not good. So that means that we're most likely looking at this probably was either a running flat or some kind of B wave ending. So um, if it's a running flat, it would have to be a C wave. So it'd have to be five waves. It looks pretty corrective to me though. So whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. It just matters in this current wave right here. And I'm seeing a impulse down. So we filled the gap at 753. There's a gap down here at 695. This should be about finished though, for how far it's dropped. And I would be looking for a second wave pullback or a B wave to probably here at 791 to potentially um, 805. And you have a supply zone right here at 805. So that'd be my main target would be 805. It's really hard for, for me to believe that's going to go all the way to 805 though, the way it's, the price action is. The price action is ab absolutely horrible, but it has sold off a ton. It should bounce up here like that if it's going to make five waves down. If it's an ABC move, maybe it'll only go to the 0.38 Fib, which is at this out of the way. Point three eight fib is right here at 778 but again we have a supply zone up here that's the only supply zone i see let me go to higher time frames yeah supply zones right here so i would say eight bucks and then you're potentially looking at something down here to 677 bounce that would be a third wave and we can just see Is that right? 677. Bounce to 703. And then you'd be looking at Yeah, down here at like 612. And you have a gap here at 606. So yeah, this is not what you want to see. And maybe this is a um preview of what's going to happen with the overall market i'm not really sure iwm looked good and it actually looks like it's probably going to go uh, it looked like it was in a corrective move to me so potentially go higher so i don't understand the sell-off here it doesn't make any sense but that's how it is this stock i don't know everyone all the uh, institutions hate it um jp morgan all of them hate it they don't want it to succeed and so we see this happening over and over we just see shorting for no reason so uh, 
let me know in the comments if there was there a downgrade today or the last couple of days what was the deal here there's no explanation for the price action just happened for no reason um i mean i know the price action is what leads but it's just hard to believe that we are going to go down here to six now after going from six seventy all the way up here to eight fifty so uh it's kind of frustrating if you're long here um hopefully you're hedged a little bit i have some puts but i don't have a huge position right now um but if we get a back test here of eight bucks and it's a corrective move then i'll be selling cover calls i'll be buying puts and i'll be profiting on this move down here to potentially six bucks so that's pretty much the update for now um look for this move to be about ending unless they do some kind of extension um this could, if it extends it'd be looking like this it'd be like something like that highly unlikely in my opinion but you never know look for that retrace back up here to 805 as long as the market holds up so that's it for this one uh let me know in the comments if we got a downgrade or what the deal is was there news i don't know we're down pretty big today so let me know in the comments like subscribe for more updates and i'll catch you in the next video i'll try to keep you updated with the chart and what it looks like is the next move